All right, so everyone, like probably the most asked thing that we get is how much horsepower do you feel? And like I'm trying to teach, it's it's not about horsepower. It's the, the delivery and how the feel, see the pants and how it accelerates. And the motocross guys, they want a nice linear power curve and that's how the OEMs are designed is linear. And we're trying to design like a low end punch and, and get the thing up on the snow and revving and going. So, You've ridden stock bikes for a long time and, and different tuners and different things. How do you, what's your thoughts on how we bring the power in when you're in the steep, in the trees and you need it like right now and moving around? Yeah. Well, where we ride, it's uh, it's it's thick, wooded mountain riding. So, I, mean, oh, the, I know. The These guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the terrain is, is uh, you know, a variety from, you know, traversing side hills to dropping down into drainages and ditches and crossing creeks and you know usually that goes pretty well but not always crossing creeks and then you're instantly at the bottom of this thing and you're doing a hard pull out of it and you're cutting sideways and you're cutting back across the trees and you know so the uh, the terrain is constantly changing so what we like in a bike like this is the ability to come in and be able to carve through the trees and tight stuff and have short, quick, powerful bursts on the bottom end. But then we like to be able to come and pull out of a drainage and grab second gear and just hammer down and have the thing just and pull you out. And it's it's really, uh, it's it's a big improvement with this 490 kit and the uh, Wingman kit. The Wingman kit really brought it to life because you take that big bore power, but now the thing starts to react almost like a two stroke. So yeah. the thing just comes on and ro just roars to life and Only pulls clean. you out. Only it, clean. Only it, it's I electric. Can yeah. yeah. In, in our in our snow bike strategy that we have written in our ECU, we use what's called feet forward knock control, and we're using a very dynamic ignition timing. And what you're feeling is that at full potential, you're getting that that punch when you need it. And did you ever feel any stumbles, pops, butters, smooth no. all day, right? No, it's it's like an electric motor. There is just power on demand whenever you want it. And and yeah, I was running the thing. It, mid and full throttle all day I'm just thinking when's this motor gonna melt down <laughs> it, never did. it just ran so well all day. yeah cool you agree rock everything no 100 percent it's uh it's electric power it's it's the versatility I think is the biggest thing for me you know because we're still drag racing there's still times where you have to pull that hill you know there's a snowmobile line or there's you know where you have to you want to get to the top you want to get to the top of the mountain the snow's deep and with with the wingman kit on top of the 490, I noticed that it just cleaned it up. It wasn't just like a kind of a, a burst of power or a, or a kind of a gradual curve, but it all of a sudden, it, like you guys were saying, it's a just a punch, you know, and it's just like a boat getting on top of the water. You know, I can just change directions, clutch it, and then grab third gear and just like a turbo snowmobile. Awesome. I mean, without the lag. Well, Rob, Tom, myself, we've been working our butts off in the mountains trying to get this thing right and done like doing what everybody wants it to do and it's paid off it's paid off absolutely <laughs>